Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Fucking heck, that was some get going. So today I am just playing about with some new makeup y bits that are not necessarily new out, but they're first impressions and stuff to me. I received a lovely package today from America from my very good friend and fellow YouTuber Riri at the Bruce Lee Honest Beauty. <laughs> I have a spot coming here. I don't think it's a cold sore. It looks worse on camera. So I wanted to come on and try some of the bits that she sent me. Um, it's not like a full face or anything. The main thing she sent me is some Touch and Soul products, which I'm so excited about. I have hunted high and low to get to Touch and Soul in the UK for the longest time because me and Riri are very similar. We have similar skin tones, we love our hydration, we love our face mists, and we love green. Green is my favourite colour, and yeah, we're very similar in a lot of things. So, Riri kindly was like, I'm going to send you some Touch and Soul to try it because she swears by it and she loves it and even the competitions that Touch and Soul do on their social media it's always just in the US so annoying so Touch and Soul sort it out man and get some of your stuff in the UK so that we can get it so yes I kind of received the package I didn't do an unboxing because when I spoke to Riri it was just like a random act of friend stuff there's no box swap between us so um money permitting i will kindly return the favor one of the things i think really would love is this this is the hada labo tokyo lotion anti-aging super hydrator if you're watching Riri, i'll try and send you some of this at some point i got this one on amazon like ages ago but I know you can get it online at Superdrug. So I've done my skincare and I sat here for ages trying to get packaging off things while busting a nail. So, right, I've done my skincare. So I have used, I was going to say this could be a long video, but they always are. So I used the Pixi Milky Tonic first, as you can see. There is hardly any left of that. Then I used my Body Shop Oils of Life Intensely Revitalising Eye Gel, which is getting near the bottom. Then I used a um, Superdrug's own little boosters. This one is the Collagen Booster, so I used that. And then, of course, I used my Hada Labo. Super Hyaluronic Acid Collagen and Retinol Fragrance Free Lotion Anti-Aging Super Hydrator and then I used the Pixi H2O Skin Drink Pure Hydration Gel Cream topped off with some Prep and Perfect Primer Water from Primark but that's all soaked in now so we'll add a little bit in there I got them all over my hair and I've also got some Blistex Intense Moisturiser Cherry on my lips. I keep getting a spot there all the time, honestly. So I'll just show you the bits that I received and then we'll try them out. So the first thing I received was, I said I wasn't doing an unboxing, but I didn't do an unboxing if you know what I mean. But I'll just show you the items here because I'm going to use them. So it's a little touch and sew set which comes, it says no poor blame. So I've got primer and another item. I've got a little wet and wild palette. I love it. It almost looks, let's get one out here. It almost looks like the elf. What is all of this stuff? I keep finding all this like jelly stuff. Like what the hell, get off my hand. They almost look like the bite sized ones from elf. There's five. Five in this and four in that, but yeah. So I am so excited and grateful. So thank you, really, for this because, as I said, jump to this drawer. <laughs> when I picked up this Wait and Wild in Home Bargains and put it in my own Christmas stocking, 
it's been one of my favourite looks that I've ever done. By the time you see this video, you'll have seen that look. So I was gifted that from Riri and then there's this little pot of a Ultimate Sessing Powder. Then she sent me this. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Silly Gilded Bronzer made with 100% natural cocoa powder and real gold. Oh, and it smells divine. And it's got little flakes of shimmer in it. It looks like it might be really dark on me, but I did swatch it on the back of my hand earlier, so I'll use it light handed. I've never tried the Too Faced one. The only one I have, which I keep going into this drawer, I'm not used to this new setup yet. Let me see, peeps. Let me just get the bronzers. The only one I have is this, and look how ancient the packaging is. This was my all time favourite bronzer before I ever like did YouTube or got majorly into collecting makeup. And this is the Too Faced Peach Leopard Brightening and Perfecting Bronzer, and they don't make it anymore. And, oh my god, it's like the OG, and why did they stop making it? They kept making the pink one, the pink leopard one. Oops, I'm going to end up breaking that palette. Um, but I don't know why they stopped that one. So that's the only one I've ever tried. So anyway, long story short, I want to get the milk chocolate one, because I think that'll be the shade for me and Riri sells stuff on Macari which I think is like our kind of Depop and again I don't think that I in the UK could buy from Macari so she kindly has sent me this oh it's good enough to eat she also sent over this mascara it says at first lash mascara it's by Avon. I'm not going to open it now because I've got loads open and I don't want to have too many open. But thank you for that. There was also a little ultra matte lip from Colourpop. Colourpop do packaging so cute. And this one is called Sunny Side. I'm not normally the biggest fan of matte because I have such dry lips. Oh, downstairs must be having a washing on. Um, so this is the colour. Maybe it won't be really drying and matte, but that's the colour there. We'll see how that dries down. So there's that as well. So we've got lips. And then there's this cute little smash box. Always on liquid lip in the shade Audition. And they're both sort of similar shades actually. That's the Smashbox one. So that's so cute. And then of course, I love green. Green is like my favourite colour. Green and teal, I love it, I love it, I love it. And this, oh, excuse me one moment, something's just falling off. She sent me some green liners. So this one is, oops, the Sephora Colourful Wink It Felt waterproof liner in number eight blue moon look at the shade oh my goodness it is gorge oh look at that that's it there look oh, it actually matches like the vanity table that i upcycled so i'm excited to try that though i am so shit at liquid liner so then we have this liner here this wee bit at the bottom keeps falling off it's kind of dented so I'll maybe just put that there now. Sorry, my anxiety's all over the place. My maids have only just been up today, so. This is the Ailey Girl Ultimate Intense Stay Auto Liner Eye in Totally Teal. And it's one of these sort of windy up ones, which I love. Oh my God, that is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, she knows me so well. Thank you so much, I'm so excited. I'm literally shaking. I'm so over anxiety, I'm sick of it. And then I've got this pencil here, which is the Ellie Girl Shockwave Neon Liner in Gotcha. So, again, is that a windy one up? I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with that one. And that's like a lime green. Oh, I love it. And I'm obsessed with coloured liners. 
so we have those two happy happy days right i'm just going to try and oh look at that these liners aren't bunching weren't joking me are so it shows i just thought i'd maybe put a bit of makeup on today and like make myself feel a little bit better so let's crack on and see so let's dive into this first so this is primer and priming eraser set so what does it say about it Primer with a silky texture that leaves a smooth canvas for makeup while minimising the appearance of pores and fine lines. Oh, such an itchy nose. Contains green tea extract collagen and also has great sebum control effect which gives a long lasting makeup throughout the day. How to use? Apply a half to one pump of no pore blend primer to your face and blend outwards. For dry skin, apply just to the areas of your face that tend to get oily, like the T-zone. And then the priming eraser, which is the stick, it says, This easy grip on the go stick type primer helps blur pores and conceal fine lines for a perfect canvas with its excellent formula to give an instant focused flaw covering effect. How to use that one is at the final stage of basic skin care. Apply an appropriate amount lightly on the spot where pore, wrinkle and sebum stand out. Then spread the primer to adhere evenly with the smudging cushion. Okay. So I'm guessing I don't have to use both of them together then. Let's just put that there. So it's a nice glass bottle and you get 30 mils in here. Oh, I'm reading the back it says... Made in Korea. So this is a smooth and pore covering top secret for perfect makeup in a little glass bottle. Then they have this pen. This is no, no pore, I don't know, listen, no pore blame um, priming eraser. So it just looks like this stick. So this one, I guess you would just add and thing mate. So I'm not gonna use that one today. I'm gonna use this one. I'm so excited. So let's get some of this on. Ooh, it's quite runny and pink in consistency. It doesn't have a scent. Now I've got dry skin. Like I don't the only place I get oily is around my nose, but it's like overnight that I get that. So I'm just going to slap it on because I just I'm so excited to try it. I've just heard so many good things and I really like the highlighters, the blushes, the greeny shadows, the skincare that Viri gets. She's like my guru. I'm like, I need it. <laughs> so I'll put that on. I don't have massively big pores. Oh, look how close on this damn mirror. Uh, and I've got million and stuff. So, right. I can't decide what foundation to use. I think I am going to use today. Actually, this one, I think. I'm going to use the Tarte Found Sealer Multitasking Foundation. And I have it in the shade Light Beige 22B. This is such a good foundation. And look at the nifty packaging. So I'm going to use that. And where is my foundation brush? Hmm, hello, where are you? There you are. I'm going to use my Body Shop Foundation Buffing Brush. And I'm just going to put a bit straight onto the brush. And knock everything over. <laughs> oh, the struggle bus. I've got a little bit of U tan and tone tanning spray on my face, so I've got a little bit more colour. Though in this stupid ring line camera, you can't see that colour. But on the whole, it was just to give me a little bit of something, especially with feeling just not great. I don't know whether it's like the placebo effect 
and the way anxiety and mental health works. But see with me up in my dosage from 75 milligrams to 100, I feel a bit more jittery. Oh, I don't know. I'm just so sick of it all. People that have never struggled with their mental health ever. You are so lucky. So lucky. Okay, so that's just a wee bit on there. As I said, I've said in my last videos, I'm so fed up of the whole lighting and quality of stuff when it comes to filming, but I cannot afford plastic value to be getting anything else. So, I'm going to now do concealer. So I'm going to have to take a concealer from my little drawer here. I'm going to use the Body Shop Fresh Nude Serum Concealer in the, the shade 01 Fair. And I'll take this. Do you know what? I even have brought a notebook through here with me so that I can write down everything I've used. So I get really dark in there. And I'm getting really dark there. But then I haven't been sleeping great either. I was having a great sleep when the postman knocked on the door with the parcel and I was like, then I can get back to sleep. Okay, 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 I'm just going to use the same brush. Just kind of get a little bit of redness on my eyelids as well because of the eczema. So it depends then. I cannot stress enough how amazing these body shop brushes are. I'm going to be stopping doing body shop at home. It's just not working for me. The only person that's constantly buying is my best friend down in York, Emily, because she's such a big body shop fan and she's also a very supportive friend. And I know times are tough with COVID and money and furlough and different things. I don't have any money myself. I don't have a job. Trying to find a job is like so hard. I've been trying since February 2019 to get one. Even a part-time one to go alongside my college. I get it. So, yeah. Um, Riri sent me this. It is, what it says, One Size Ultimate Setting Powder. What does it say about it? By One Size Beauty. I've never heard of them or used anything. It just says Ultimate Setting Powder and it's translucent. I think I've got some of that in my Okay, as Riri would say, welcome to the shit show. Okay, so this is a little tub. It's like a little frosted tub. So cute. Brand new. It's not even opened. So let's get the wee tab if we can. All my actual days. I did it. Come on. Let's just pop that into the bucket and we'll tap a wee bit into the lid and I will take a smaller brush just to set under my eyes. What's that one? I'm going to use another body shop brush. This is a concealer brush but I'll just use this. Just to pat it, just where I put the concealer, and we'll see how it goes. That's not working. This brush for that, do we? Get a grip, love. Get a grip. So we'll go back into this fluffy one. I don't use a lot of like loose powders anyway. Just I don't know why. I always see people using powders more for if they've got oily skin. As I say, I don't really have oily skin, so. But that powder looks nice, it's not cakey or anything. That's the buzzer, I won't be jumping to answer that. 
probably kids in their break from school. Okay, so now I'm going to use this palette that I was kindly sent and this is the Wet n Wild 5 Pan Shadow Palette and it is in the shade Sundays. So this is what it looks like. It's got two matte shades here and then it's got three shimmery ones. So let me get a little brush. And I'll go into the lighter of them. And lightly pat it in. Wow, that's really pigmented, isn't it? Wet n Wild are so decent, honestly. What a decent brand. And I've been looking at their stuff on the um, Beauty Bay, but Beauty Bay don't have that much of their stuff. My eyelids are beyond dry, honestly. They are so dry. I can even feel the brush like struggling to put it on. That's another reason why I haven't been doing makeup as well. Is because, see, when it comes to later on I'm removing this, even though I use the remover cloth and then the gentlest of like cleansers and removers, my eyes are just not happy with that. Well, that is very pigmented and it's blending so nicely. Let me just get a wee brush here. This is a, I think this is a Zoeva brush but I, the name dropped off now. Where's the sparkle coming from? There must be sparkle in this brush. Okay, you need to go in there. <laughs> oh my god, Julie, what is wrong with you today? Okay, so we've got an elf blending brush. And hopefully, there's like literally glittery bits of pink that must have been on that brush. Great news. <laughs> But there are some serious amounts of pigment in the shadow. I am loving that colour. Yes, Mimi. My friend Mel as well, who is a makeup artist in Manchester, she always buys really lovely products as well. And like, I think she likes pink and the colour green. It's dead funny because like, she did a video and was showing some stuff that she'd recently purchased and straight away we were just, I was laughing. Because she knew that I would have commented and be like, the green! Because I love the green. But this is so vibrant. Like, look at that. Like, I would normally not ever even want to wear just matte shades. Because I just do love a bit of shimmer and glitter. But I would happily, happily wear this on its own. I feel like I need to use that brush that's got the glitter on to match this up. Okay then, so I'm going to take the other darker matte shade on a small-ish brush, which is proper hiding for me. And I'm going to take the, t the tiniest bit, as she said, and I'm just going to sort of like pop it here. I was wanting to try some new brownish products when I can because I don't really bother with my brows. 
just don't know what to do with them really and again that's something that I thought sh we would have possibly been taught doing basic makeup how to do different eyebrows and of course that hasn't happened in the course either I'm beginning to feel like the course has been a waste of my time I was talking to a self-taught makeup artist called Helen Wills on um, Instagram last night and you know she was saying that she did consider going to college but she just taught herself through YouTube tutorials and then she did a couple of one-on-one -on -one classes with that Stacey Marie. Now obviously, you know, they're going to be expensive, aren't they, with people like Stacey Marie and they're also going to be, I would imagine, in England because, well, that's where she's based. So it would obviously be the expense as well of going there if I was to choose someone like that. But sometimes I just think I would be better off of doing an independent course or just teaching myself and watching different YouTubers. Because I haven't been shown, as far as I'm concerned, at college how to blend and do the different things. You know what I mean? I haven't been shown how to properly like colour correct or anything of that. I haven't been shown how to apply false lashes properly, how to pick them. You know what I mean? I wouldn't know what to do if it came to doing makeup on a deeper skin tone or that how to pick the colours and everything because, well one, we don't have anybody in our group, you know, that has a deeper skin tone, but I still think we should have been taught that, like even from watching her go up the other night, you know what I mean? And the first thing they had, they had to colour correct. And the lady that was doing the shoot, you know, she was African or Caribbean. Or I can't remember exactly where she said she was from. And that's what she was saying, the problem within the makeup a beauty industry. Not so much now, but was that there was never anything out there for them and colour correcting and matching and stuff and I honestly wouldn't know where to start. I think I'm going to go in with this shade here. Look at that. And I'm just going to use my finger and I'm just going to pat it on the top here, in the middle of my lid. That's so nice. Look at that. Now, if there's any texture, bear in mind, I've got, like, really dry sort of eyelids. For some reason, it seems to be popping more than that side. Who knows? So, you know, it's no reflection on these shadows if it looks a bit dodgy. So, yeah, I don't know. I just kind of feel like... It's possibly been a waste of my time doing that course. I'm going to take this one here as well, on my finger. This that feels more like a topper than a shadow. Like a glitter sort of topper. See how it's more sheer? I don't know what is going on with my eye. I'm all over the place. Now, do they match? Who the thinking knows? So I really like these little wet and wild palettes. Now, oh, what liner to use? I don't think I'm going to use the liquidy one. 
today because I think I will end up messing up. I want to use this Ellie Girl one in the shade. What did I say? Totally, totally teal. Mm. Loving it. I think we are going to pop this under my nose here. Oh, it is beautiful. It reminds me of my CYO one that I have. It just is the most stunning, stunning, stunning colour. Teal and green is just life, people. I mean, look at that. This video is so long, honestly. If I should do what Riri says, grab your tacos and your tequila. <laughs> Strap yourself in. Grab that. And that. It's just so stunning and it's just gliding on with ease. I love that. I love it so much. I also personally think that, see if you're the kind of person that doesn't want to go all out with colour, coloured liners are the way forward. I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown Smoky Mascara because I don't want to open another new mascara. You can see that powder just kind of separating and sitting a bit under my eyes. Again, that could just be the whole dry eyed eczema existence. Concentration. Okay then. Now let's try out this bronzer and see how I get on. I'm going to use this big uh, Beauty Works brush and I'm just going to lightly tap into it and I'm going to tap the excess off here. I really hate this lighting because it is not showing you what I'm seeing. Well, to me, it looks fine. It's a bit more shimmer in it. Like, I don't know, see, I don't know if you can see with the shitty light, like the kind of glittery particles, like normally I would go for a matte bronzer. It smells divine though. Okay, so now we're going to move on to lips and I don't know which one to try. I think I'll try the colour pop one. So this is in the sunny side. What I think I'll do, even though I don't normally do it, is I think I will take a lip liner on my lips. So I'm going to use the Doll Beauty in Boy Bye.
even though it says ultimate I don't know like it might not be as drying as I think so nice so i'm not going to bother putting highlights or blush on or we'll be here even longer but this is my finished look using some of the products that i was sent today by the lovely riri what do you think i love it i am so thankful and grateful for your kindness and please do go over and follow Riri as well which is amazing you won't regret it I'll leave her link down in the description Taylor I sent you and yes thank you again so much and I will speak to you in the next one and hopefully I won't so, be so brain foggy but this is real life people okay bye